Cyclic Codes Part 2, Encoding and Decoding Strategies. At first, encoding of non-systematic code. Uh, you will use this exemplary generator polynomial. Uh, product of uh, generator polynomial with every polynomial of the degree less than or equal to k minus 1 produce the complete set of non-zero code words of non-systematic code. This can be expressed by this formula and simply we multiply information polynomial by a generator polynomial. For example, Let's take this information polynomial in binary form. We will multiply this polynomial by the generator polynomial. This is multiplication. The only difference is that our addition here is modulo 2 addition. And we will obtain the following word, a code word, which is a W5. Obviously, the same can be done in matrix form. Having generator polynomial, we may uh, create the generator matrix and uh, code words using generator matrix uh, can be found from this formula. As I have mentioned before, during the part one of the presentation, uh, for code, uh, cyclic code 7.4, there is another generator polynomial. This is the polynomial. And for this polynomial, uh, we have a cyclic code. Uh, this is generator matrix. Uh, we have two uh, words all zero L and all one word and all one and all zero word and then we have two cycles each cycle produces seven words 16 words in total encoding mm, cyclic codes uh, and we want to encode a systematic code multiplying the information polynomial the ith information polynomial by x to the power of m shifts information bits to the leftmost side of a code word. That way information bits are in correct positions at the left side, uh, required by the systematic code and parity check bits are zero. For example, for this information uh, polynomial in binary description, we have these four bits at the left and at this moment, we have three zeros at the right. Such a sequence gives the non-zero reminder when divided by the generator polynomial. From this equation, we'll, we may find that a reminder represents a parity check bits and designates a code word when added to the polynomial uh, that we have had uh, before this polynomial. For example, uh, if we divide this uh, polynomial uh, information part at the left and three zeros by the generator polynomial, the reminder is 1, 0, 0, and this reminder 1, uh, 0, 0 represents parity check bits. This is the information part and this is the reminder parity check bits. Now, please observe that um, we have the same set of code words as for non-systematic code, only assignment of code words to information words is different. This uh, code word that corresponds for systematic code corresponds to 0101, for non-systematic code corresponds to 0100. Uh, the second way to find the systematic code is uh, as follows. Uh, we may, using modular two editions of generator matrix, find the systematic code generator matrix. From this exemplary uh, generator matrix, we can find the generator matrix of a systematic code. Uh, it is written here, um, adding modulo 2, W1, W2, W11. We will obtain the first row, W8, then W4, W2 and W1. They are the same as in a non-systematic code. And this systematic code generator matrix can be uh, transformed to parity check matrix. And parity check matrix uh, gives uh, the system of parity check equations. Um, each parity check bit can be expressed by information bits. Uh, these uh, two codes, non-systematic and systematic, are called equivalent codes. Decoding. Let me 
remind you that any code word polynomial has to generate the polynomial as a factor. A reminder is zero. Then to check whether the received word v is a code word of a cyclic code, it is enough to divide this word by generate a polynomial and the reminder then is designated. Reminder can be considered as syndrome of the received word and it determines the decoder decision. For error detecting and decoding, if reminder is zero, then no error. If reminder is non-zero, then we have error question mark. For error correcting decoding, same if reminder is zero, then no error. If reminder is non-zero, then we find the uh, error pattern polynomial uh, and uh, error pattern polynomial can be designated from this equation. Uh, error pattern divided by generator polynomial gives the error syndrome. And then error syndrome lookup table can be constructed. For example, for this uh, code for the generator polynomial, in this table we have seven single errors and for each single error a corresponding uh, reminder uh, syndrome can be calculated. For example, for uh, error pattern 1 at the left and all zeros, we will divide this error pattern by the generator polynomial and the reminder is 1, 0, 1. This is this syndrome, 1, 0, 1. And that way the lookup table has been constructed. Error pattern and syndrome. Uh, the same can be obtained using matrix approach. Why we are we using a polynomial approach uh, when describing uh, cyclic codes? Well, because in most uh, of books that I have, this um, representation is, uh, uh, is present. Uh, well, it is just an alternate way of description of cyclic codes, and it's good to know. Exemplary transmission, uh, same uh, code, same generator polynomial, and exemplary transmission, we have this word uh, in polynomial description and in binary description. We divide this word by the generator polynomial, we calculate the syndrome, which is triple one, and then we are going to the lookup table already prepared. In this column, we are searching for this syndrome, one, 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 uh, one, 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 three ones. And this syndrome corresponds to this error pattern. This error pattern then has to be added to the received uh, word to give the uh, decoder decision. It was the last slide of uh, screencasts. If you have found them useful or if you have found them useless or if you have noticed some errors, please write a comment and all comments are very welcome.